surrounded by killers and dealers and everything under. Hola, como esta? Bonjour, como se va? Como se va? Merci beaucoup. It's time to take my hair out. This is not what it says it is. This is my own concoction with some almond oil and some essential oils. I don't remember what I used. I think tea tree, eucalyptus, and something else. Maybe lavender. My face is freshly moisturized, so I'm not greasy. Oh my gosh. We have a technical difficulties here, man. And I am back. And now I have to re-oil my hands. And I'm taking my hair down. Like I said, this is a freshly washed, moisturized face. Talk that trash to your granny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, ma. No eyes. I don't gotta look to untie. Because I got... I don't know what I got. I think I, I deserve a chance. I'm a bad man, Jimmy. Go ask the man, Jimmy's. She a pretty man, Jimmy. She slain that wood like a lumberjacker. I re oil my hands when they feel dry again. I'm sure you already know this, but in case you don't, when you take down your hair, it's best to have moisturized hands, to make a smooth transition, less frizz, less tangles, because you know, you don't want to dry on dry with your ashy hands. She almost done. She almost done. Oh, this one got a little wet. In the shower, I don't know how we got wet. But it's This my dream catcher, dream catcher. But yeah, I just do a little fluff fluff, nothing too crazy. A little fluff fluff, little itch itch. You got hair like me, girl, go and get you a pick. Get you a long one too. Matter of fact, get you a long one with a fist at the end. Make it official. And she's back. Do I want to do it this thing? Nah, I just want to leave it out. I just want to leave it out. I just want to leave it out. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's exciting. Washi, washi. Washi, washi. Alright, y'all ready to go to the spring with me? I'm taking you anyways. If you ain't trying to go to the spring, then go ahead and log off. Ain't no hard feelings. You do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. Capiche? Kabish, come on. Shedding is natural. Before I head to the spring, it's some super, super, super important business I gotta take care of. Uh, tedious stuff, you know, adulting. you don't want to see all this boring scrolling so confession I have to drive all the way back home now because I forgot oh my gosh it's fat speed bump but um these past few weeks I keep forgetting to bring my scraps so I can feed them to the animals in the forest near the spring and today I'm 
driving back to go get them because it's been enough time of me not doing it you know what i mean like like i go and get water every day like i can i can go take water but i can't make sure i give i can't make sure i'm giving back i can't make sure i give anything to that area like that's not that's not right and so i'm i'm taking the drive back to go and get the things um a feeling of frustration is coming up look yeah I'm, I'm working on it a feeling of frustration is coming up but i'm remembering what i went through just then this morning and how that led to me not making sure i checked everything and i missed a step and that's just it is what it is i just missed a step like how long or i'm gonna be mad at myself for that like it like get over it whatever i missed a step i forgot to bring it it was a lot going on and i was in my mood and so ready to like move and get out of my mood that i didn't make sure i grabbed everything and that is okay it's okay i get to drive around and i get to listen to this song on repeat i almost cried to this song just now by the way i done felt a lot of things everything we feel we gotta feel, feel that, that shit and then let that shit go don't call me out of there we all dealing with trauma we all dealing with pain Look, repeat after me with this repeat shit. after me with this shit. you gotta feel it i done feel a lot of things let them tears fall let that shit flow I got my fancy reusable bag and I got all the goodies for all the goodies. Am I gonna be happy with that one? Let's go deep into the forest. Do you hear that? Besides the bells? Hey! It's birdies in the spring. Ran my errands, got our spring water, got moving, got active. A little bit out of breath, cause I, like I said, I be speed walking for no reason. And I was like sprinting up the stairs almost. But um, uh, just to update, I have let go of how I felt before people are staring at me. I feel normal again, like neutral, you know? Grateful mindset. I'm grateful that I had gas in my car. I'm grateful I had a working car. I'm grateful that there was water running at the spring. I'm grateful that I'm close to a spring, that I can make trips back and forth, that it's not a deal breaker if I forget something. I'm grateful that I had the funds to complete my errands. I'm grateful that I was able to get moving and get out of the funk. 
Sorry, I'm looking at the car. Always be aware of your surroundings. Man, you gonna slow down right in front of me, sir. Hold up now. This is when you pull off. This is when you pull off. Mm -mm, don't wait for nobody to do no funky shit near you. Pull the hell off. You seen the shadow. They literally stopped right in front of my car. I'm grateful that I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm grateful that um, I got some fresh air, some breathing air and stuff like that. I'm grateful that I have a big coat. I'm grateful that I was able to take off my coat and I had a sweater under it. And so like I was warm, but I also wasn't hot. I'm just super grateful and making sure I remain grateful because life is about perspective and when you meet a blocked road, how are you gonna get around it? How are you gonna move through it? How are you going to to mentally secure yourself, you know? Cause it's like, who, who has a perfect life? Come on now, I'll wait for an answer. It's actually, I'm not even gonna wait cause that's a dumb, that's like if you're trying to answer it, that, that's dumb. Ain't no dumb answers, but that one's a dumb answer. You know what I mean? Nobody has a perfect life. Life is full of happenings and that's all. It's just a happening. It's not It's not for us to take everything personal. It's not for us to hold on to everything that's going on to us and have a feeling about it. We don't have to have a feeling about everything. And so I've been working on being aware of the feelings that come about. That way I can maneuver through them and grow out of it and grow through it you know what I mean like I don't gotta feel everything you feeling everything then you're just gonna you're gonna be a sad a sad mf -er. you're gonna be sad feeling everything let go let go just let it go it's easier said than done yes the first step to letting go is awareness and noticing how you feel and then digging deep as to why you feel that way and what led to it find the root belief system the root theme of consciousness that's linked to that feeling or that thought because it's not yours and you're able to take the time to go through that because it's not yours it's not yours to hold it's not yours to keep it's not yours to to sulk in you know what i mean it's just what it is you know what i mean so are you gonna choose to live in a theme of like stuff always happens to me what was me are you gonna choose to live in a theme of Life happens, but I keep going. Life happens, but I don't fret. I don't I don't let it keep me down for too long. Sometimes I do feel those feelings and that's okay, but I don't hold on to them. I don't harvest in them. I don't live in it. I don't project it onto people around me. You know what I mean? I'm glad. Awareness is the first step. Just like how they say acknowledgement is the first step. The first thing you do is acknowledge it and then you work from there. Be kind to yourself during that process. Be kind to yourself as you uncover the reasons why and the the things through it. You know what I mean? Be kind and be patient with yourself because isn't that how you want somebody to treat you? Isn't that how you're supposed to treat others? So why not treat yourself like that first? Why not get some practice treating yourself like that and then when you go out into the world and you treat other people that way, you're able to do it from a full cup because you already got yourself covered. So your cup is full, your cup is overflowing. So you have that to give to other people without expecting them to give it back to you. But your cup is so full, your cup is so overflowing that you don't even notice. You don't even notice because you're filling your cup up. Your cup is full, you know what I mean? I keep saying the same things, but you know what I mean. You don't have to worry about being reciprocated a lot of times like everybody's like fighting for reciprocation but when are you going to set the example when are you going to have the conversation when are you going to reciprocate to yourself when are you going to give yourself what you're asking for others for or what you're demanding from others how dare you demand that other people treat you this out and the third when you don't even treat yourself like that how dare you do do yourself better do yourself a favor and i'm not just talking to you I'm talking to me too, you know what I mean? It's so talk. But don't you dare ask somebody for something you don't give yourself. Don't you dare ask somebody for something that you don't give without expectations, you know what I mean? And even still, once you realize you're giving without expectations, you're gonna be able to look at them with compassion and look at them with understanding and say, I was once there. 
I was once there and it took me a while to, to build myself up. It took me a while to become consistent. It took me a lot of patience and kindness. And what, what does it hurt us if we're giving that to someone else? It's a gift. Aren't you rich? Aren't you rich? Then there's no, it's no, aren't you wealthy? There's no problem given then. You're wealthy. You live in abundance. Say it with me, I am wealthy. I live in abundance. I can give kindness. I can give compassion. I can give understanding, overstanding. I can give love because my cup is overflowing. <laughs> my cup is full. My cup is overflowing. I'm filled with love. I embody love. And look, look, you hear those? You hear those thoughts, those doubts? Just observe them. That's not you. That's not you, you're not those doubts and thoughts. Don't listen to those doubts and thoughts. Figure out why you're having that. Every time you say something good for yourself, why do you have to come back with something negative? You know what I mean? Pay attention to those things. Pay attention to those things that's trying to keep you, keep you locked in a certain state of mind. You know what I mean? It's a defense mechanism that our mind does and we think that that keeps us safe. We think that keeps us protected. We think that keeps us realistic. But that's not the only reality. That's the thing. That's not the only reality. You create your reality. You co-create your reality. So it's up to you to create the reality of abundance and recognize when, when the opposite intrudes in your mind because that's all that is it's just an intruder it's just a program you know what i mean you don't have to submit to that program you can download another one you can create another one you don't got to keep that app in your brain you don't have to apply that to yourself delete that one and get another one we rising up out here man we living on top <laughs> we living on top and it's a beautiful journey beautiful chaos you know what I mean? We living on top. Peace. So to conclude all the rambling, don't be so stingy. Don't be so stingy and have the nerve to try to ask when you don't give. Don't be so stingy with the feelings you feel and think you need to hold on to those because they're not yours to hold. Recognize them and let them go. Don't be so stingy with the love you have and then expect someone to give you the love you want. Let some of that love go. Give out some of that love. You are love. Live in that. Live in that abundance and work to keep your cup full so it doesn't you don't feel the need to hold on so tight to to that beautiful flower on the inside of you yes men y'all have flowers on the inside of you too you're we're all filled with love and by no means at all am i coming from a high horse because i'm on this roller coaster of life too i have my days where it's down you've seen then like things frustrate me life is frustrating at times but it's about constantly reminding ourselves that <clears throat> life is happening it's just happening it's not happening to me it's just happening and we're just here to remain in our core which is love